Hi there Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 21st through the 27th love reading. This is intended to be a love reading, we will see what comes up. I wasn't going to do weekly readings but due to the requests I have decided to. Thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, commenters and likes, I really appreciate all the support. Again, this is for Aquarius, August 21st through the 27th, this is intended to be a love reading. What do you have for Aquarius? I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I've been trying to do quick ones. Some of them turned out that way. Some of them did not. A lot of people are getting this card. I think there's a lot of insecurities going on this week. We have a lot of fire energy, that's for darn sure. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they must be in your life during this week. There's a lot of fire energy. Um, it looks like there could be some conflicts as well. Um, the, the conflicts could be within yourself, okay? Perhaps you're having some inner conflicts that are making you feel insecure. Um, But you do have some raw potential here. You have some raw potential for growth, all right? So it looks like you could be having a new partner coming in. It, could, it looks like there's a new um, exciting, uh, passionate start. It could be, you know, that involves love. I see a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see a Capricorn. I see Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I see... Um, the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have Sagittarius a couple times. I see that you think this time for a change. That's for darn sure. It's time for a change. Um, with the two of pentacles up there, something needs to change. And it's regarding your love life and it's regarding your partnership. So you might go from one to two. You might. Okay, take that as a might. Um, right here, this is uh, insecurity. This is conflicts of some sort, you know, some kind of tension, feeling like a victim perhaps, um, feeling like you're left out of a situation. Um, but then again, we have this Ace of Pentacles. This is another raw potential, raw potential for stability and security. Now you have three Aces, okay? So one, 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 instant manifestation. So I see that you have been working on manifesting things. And that um, you're, there's changes on the horizon for you, Aquarius. There's definitely some changes. It looks like you have the opportunity for security. You have the opportunity for stability. You have the opportunity for excitement. You have, um, it looks like there's a new discovery on the horizon that could lead to a lot of passion, okay, with another person. And you have this new love, this new welling of emotion that's coming in. So it looks really good. Um, your thoughts become things and I think that you have been thinking um, probably about somebody that you are deeply deeply connected to and you have been waiting for some communication from this person um, and you have just been very persistent You've been persistent, you've been enthusiastic about the situation, it looks like you've had a lot of courage, you've used some willpower and discipline in this situation, and you've just been waiting for this communication. And it looks like you might be receiving something from somebody because we have all these ones, these aces, this is new potential, okay? Um, and it's going to bring you the truth of a situation. Um, it may even balance out your life a little bit. It looks like you have some balancing that's going to be happening. So I think where things may have been chaotic, your life may start to balance out a little bit more this week. Um, 
I see that you're at the during the middle of the week and during the middle of the reading, you are feeling very, very confident. All right, you're feeling very confident during the middle of the week. I think you're feeling in control of your thoughts. Um, and you're just feeling very powerful. And I think that you you have a very, during this week, put the, your pull, your magnetic uh, pull is very powerful, okay? So I think that you're very attractive as well during this week. Um, be careful not to overindulge, okay? Because the temperance is about overindulgence. Something needs to be done in moderation. Maybe it's maybe you go out and you get drunk and you do something that you say something that you shouldn't, okay? You know, you could go out and be um, get drunk and lose control of a situation and have sex with somebody, which that could could lead to love. I mean, it could lead to love. I mean, it, you never know. Um, I don't know why I'm still shuffling these cards because I'm going to use this other deck. Um, I'm using my after tarot deck. Um, I see that it's a time of action, and I think that you are. I think that you are taking action. You're no longer just sitting around waiting. Perhaps maybe you've made some communication to somebody. Perhaps there's somebody new. Perhaps you're following your sexual desires, and, um, you know, you're going to go out and do something. <laughs> you know, and it could lead to love. You never know. I mean, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. And it could be with somebody that you're already with. Either way, we have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio up there who is loyal. Okay? And they could be connected to you in uh, more than you think, put it that way. Um, and you may receive communication from this person. And it brings the balance back to your life that you've been seeking. I mean, this could be a scenario for somebody. Um... This person, I believe, is definitely connected to you in in a way. This person that's either here or coming in, they're connected to you in a way other than just a normal relationship, okay? I think that, you know, it's somebody that you have either been with before or in a past life or it's a soulmate because we have, you know, a lot of kings and queens or whatever you want to call it. There's just a lot of people here. Um... There's a lot of sexual energy, put it that way. I think that your sexual drive is high this week. And I think that um, perhaps you're, you're, you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're, and you're looking for somebody else. Maybe you've been stuck on somebody else. You know, you've been stuck on somebody else, but you've decided, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go do it. You know what I mean? That's what I feel. I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy. Now you have another ace. Um, so you have four aces. 11, 11. Okay, so pay attention to your thoughts. Your thoughts become things. I mean, if you have a high sexual drive, which I think you do this week, I mean, you you might just um, find an, another option. <laughs> okay, if you're not getting what you need, you may be looking for another option. I'm just saying what I see. Um... Either way, there's a lot of truth that's going to come out. You're going to receive the clarity of a situation that you have been looking for. It may come to you at very um, harshly, okay? You may get some harsh information that causes you maybe to even, like, rebound. You know what I mean? You may um, decide to leave somebody behind. could be a, a air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. That's you. That's you up there. Maybe there's a fire sign. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. 
there's a lot of fire energy here there's water energy as well um, I think that you are going to be exploring your options put it that way that's what I see and I see that your sexual drive is very high you know and you might just act on a whim and it could lead to love it could so that is what I have for you Aquarius I'm not going to go any further. I wanted to make this quick. And I feel like this is, is just about as far as I need to go. I see that this week is about your sexual energy. And perhaps you um, wanting to look elsewhere. Perhaps. It may or may not resonate with you. Or um, you could have somebody coming in that is a fire sign or a water sign that is very exciting and you're very very attracted to each other and it leads to some kind of um, sex <laughs> yeah this is there's a lot of sexual energy here that's all there is to it okay that's all there is to it so that is what I have for you. Um, they could end up being somebody that you are more connected to than you thought. All right. Um, you know, you might think it's a one night stand, but it might turn out to be more than a one night stand. Just put it that way. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I have for you. This is the 21st through the 27th. If it doesn't resonate, then uh, so be it. If it does, great. Uh, thank you so much for watching.